Paint Up Productions here. Welcome back to another video. So today, what you're seeing is some. Uh, it's probably the oldest gameplay I have left over here on my uh, on my old computer or my old laptop. And basically, this is the game or a game from before I even got my Bow 27 Inferno. Now this gun is from is my Bow uh, dot 308 or whatever it's called. It's like a professional version of the gun. I use this for a little bit of a period in between having the Inferno and the regular just just bow. So, you know, today I'm going to be talking about something that I've seen that was surfacing a lot on YouTube and just just the Call of Duty community recently. And this is should supply drops be able to be bought with actual money and used? Like, should you be able to pay money to buy supply drops and open them up? Just still random supply drops. But just buy them and open them. So you'll be able to pay money for that. Now, what I'm going to say is, uh, yes, but no. <laughs> because, okay, so Call of Duty, it's especially Advanced Warfare, it's all about the luck of the draw. Especially Supply Drops. Supply Drops are all about the luck of the draw. Kind of like for the fact that people have the speakeasy. I don't... St <laughs> I still don't have the freaking speakeasy, man. I'm so pissed off. I still don't have the speakeasy. I gotta get the speakeasy sooner or later. I've opened up so many freaking supply drops. It's absurd, but I just gotta get the speakeasy. Um, but yeah, if people, if they pay money to get supply drops, Call of Duty could become a sort of pay-to-win sort of a game, and that's what you don't want to happen. That's what you don't want to happen. But on the other hand, you don't know what you're going to be getting in your supply drop, right? You, you, you don't know if you're going to be getting a piece of, uh, like, you don't know if you're going to be getting uh, knee pads, or you don't know if you're going to be getting, like, an elite gun, you know? You, you just don't know what you're really going to be getting in your supply drop, so, you know, it's really... You can pay the money, say maybe, say maybe, two, one fifty per supply job. So one fifty. Hang on, let me open up my calculator here because I'm not good at math. Let's do one fifty times um, fifty, and we're gonna see how much that costs. So that's seventy-five dollars to pay for 50 supply drops so $75 you get 50 supply drops and you can open up all those 50 supply drops you know and you could not get anything out of that or you could get like maybe 12 elite guns or 12 elite pieces of gear or something you know so you can really it's all the random thing you know I don't think people realize this but advanced warfare has so many varieties there's almost endless amounts of supply drops you can get in advanced warfare and that's what makes the game so fun because there's so much variety within the game that's something that Treyarch should really take note of for their next call of duty by the way is how the variety that advanced warfare has maybe they should keep supply drops as a part of call of duty you know maybe they should because i think supply drops should stick around for a while i think it's the greatest input into a call of duty game for a long long time so probably the best input into a game um that goes all the way back to when you could first customize your kill, kill streaks i think that <laughs> um supply drops are like the next step up from that so you know if you want to make this game a pay to win it wouldn't become a pay to win because you once again you wouldn't know what you'll get in your supply drop you wouldn't know what would be coming out of it so like i said you could either get knee pads or you can either get a speakeasy you know um or you could just, uh, I mean, because the thing is, people are into supply jobs, like me. Whenever I get a supply job, you know, so I see a lot of people doing these videos where, like, they open up these supply jobs at a time, like, supply job opening episodes and videos. I can't do one of those, you know, because I am so excited, as soon as my game ends after I get my supply job, that's the first thing I do. As soon as I get into that pregame lobby, I open up that supply job. It's like Christmas time, and it's like trying to delay myself from Christmas time. I gotta open up my gift, man. I gotta open up my gift. I can't just wait there and look at it. Just wrote, just I can't just wait there and just stare at my supply job and not open it. I'm like, wow, I wonder what's in it. No, I open that sucker right away. So, you know, hopefully, um... Uh, Sledgehammer Games doesn't do too much with this because I don't really want this to become, you know, where you can buy supply jobs. Uh, it could be, like I said, I I'm fine with it if it does happen because, well, like I said, you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know. You can pay you can spend, you know, two hundred fifty dollars worth of supply drops and not get really anything good, or you could spend, you know, maybe 
five dollars worth of supply drops and get like some of the best guns and gear in the game so it's really all the luck of the draw it's really just what you get it's really just how you get it so thank you guys for watching that's a bit of a short video actually all my videos have been like round five and six minutes i'm sorry about that but a little bit of an update here before i go i ordered a new mic um today so that should be here maybe around the end of january so by the end of this month, I should have a new mic. I'll tell you guys when I do get a new mic. Hopefully my quality is a little bit better. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys all later. Take care. Have a nice day. And goodbye.